The road to normal starts here. Go! Go, go! It's always like Christmas Day. Feels great. It's been a long summer. We couldn't wait till the first day to get back out here with the boys. This may be day one for some, but for Josh Jostis, he's been leading the Trojans for a quarter of a century now. I was the youngest coach in Macon County a long time ago, and now I'm the oldest coach in Macon County, so I don't know. That is a mixed emotion. And the past 20 odd years have all started the same way. With the ultimate test of strength, speed, and agility. We call this the Super Trojan Test. This is the final part of our off-season program. It gets all the guys competing, and then the energy's high every time. Every day one, energy's high here because we're excited. All the way through. All the good. This group has really been itching to compete, especially after being on the doorstep of state in back-to-back -back seasons. That taste in our mouth just being so close and losing, it's, it's not fun. It's chip on our shoulder, definitely. And although they're charging forward with a new roster, which does not feature All-State quarterback Caden Maurer, the expectation is who's next. Who's next? So it's going to be another new name that you haven't heard of that in two or three years you'll be saying, well, now what are you going to do that he, he graduated? And while their helmets are empty right now, by the end of the week, they'll officially become Trojans. You get all your decals, numbers, you get identified as a Trojan, so it's an honor. We're fighting for this, and then this is what we all want, so to be able to earn the five-star and get the Trojan decal means a lot. Reporting in Moroa for WAND Sports, I'm Tyler Janecki.